Hi and assalamu alaikum welcome back once again to technology information channel today in this video I am explaining the complete wiring diagram connection of the this controller model S6 700H model this is the specific type of speed controller which is used in a especially in a heavy duty diesel generators like a Cummins Caterpillars and Perkins okay so let's begin to explain first of all the complete each pins and then setting and adjustments first thing first first of all actuator pin 1 and pin 2 this is the actuator output supply to the actuator okay we have different type of actuator but most actuator have two pins we can control the actuator to this wire this is the output to the actuator simply two wire take from here and then connect with the actuator okay after that input three and four this is our mpu input okay from the mpu two wires coming here we can input here no polarity issue we get can simply input here okay as you can see here we small type of symbol of the mpu mpu is a small type of generator which is producing ac voltage from the 6 volt ac to the 36 volt ac okay after that this is the pin 5 and pin 6 this is the input supply of the this controller from the battery we can input from the 12 volt to the 36 volt this is the operable voltage of the this controller okay here we need the polarity 5 is negative input and 6 is a positive input of the battery voltage system okay after that speed trim spin 7 8 and 9 what is speed trim speed trim is a, a special type of the engine speed adjustment slightly we can adjust the engine speed from the 10, 10 5 percent to 10% only without changing any main setting of the engine okay after that droop what is droop droop is uh, actually used in a on load and without load okay when we put the load on engine after the or the engine frequency is dropping and also the rpm speed is dropping when we adjust the speed of the engine again then we can set the drop setting drop setting as mostly from 3% to 5% only okay after that ideal ideal is used in initial starting when we start the engine and then uh, run 2 minute or 1 minute delay and then engine raise to the rated rpm okay that's we use very we use that's because and the heavy tower type of diesel generator and engine we use this to engine run and well lubricated and a low speed and then the delay expire in engine reach to the rated speed okay after that 13 is auxiliary and 14 is or 10 volt output basically this output we are using and a synchronization to control the AVR also automatically okay after that the upper side left side as you can see we have only three pins fault in and alarm this is the fault in alarm warning indication light here you can see the right side when some fault occur in this controller or in the generator this light will be blinking to tell you have a fault okay also you can use this so simply normally close and normally open switches to used for the alarm and for the fault okay after that as you can see the right side the this tab underneath the this tab we have a different type of the adjustment here have a small potentiometer screw by rotating counterclockwise and anticlockwise to increase or decrease each specific specific type of speed first of all our speed you can adjust here our speed and then firing 
this is the firing firing means you can increase or decrease the fuel sp uh, fuel spray from here in a initial starting only okay most of engine required more fuel in a initial starting after they drop i already explained this drop but the drop speed is usually used from 3% to 5% and the downside is you can see the speed ramping i explaining now the speed ramping what is the speed ramping speed ramping the engine speed gradually increasing and decreasing this means the soft starting and the soft stopping like a uh, uh, vfd working uh, uh, induction motor starting slowly and then stopping slowly okay we can increase and decrease the engine starting and stopping after that stability stability means stabilization of your engine you can adjust your engine stabilization when sometime engine not stable very fine you can adjust from here and after that gain so let me explain the gain gain is used to adjust the sensitivity of the governor when put the load and disconnect the load the engine sound changing very loudly and very slowly okay you can adjust gain from here and then ideal ideal means uh, i before they explain that ideal engine start in a idle and then run, first run in a like a 1800 rpm engine run 1000 rpm and then after the delay expired the engine race to the rated rpm idle used to adjust here from one minute two minute five minute you can adjust from here manually by adjusting this small potential machine finally rated speed you can adjust your rated speed from here 1500 1800 okay especially we used 1500 and 1800 rpm or in a heavy type of diesel generator you can adjust from this potentiometer so this is the complete wiring diagram explanation and also the setting and adjustment of the this controller model s6 zero h thanks for watching see you all next time goodbye